Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing another on topic. So if you are new to my channel, my on topic videos are usually me talking about book news, TV news, movie news, maybe some music news, and just other fandom related things that I'm really excited about and that I want to talk about and share with you guys. So as always, I leave the link to everything down below. Everything that I talk about in this video is listed down below as well as the timestamps. I usually start with books, TV shows, movies, and then other things after. There are a bunch of things that I want to talk about today, so I'm going to keep the intro really short because we got a lot to discuss. Book-related news. We have the cover reveal for 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, who obviously wrote The Hating Game, which I loved. It's one of my favorite books of all time. This is her new book. It comes out, I believe, in January or February somewhere around there. Um, I have no idea what it's about. I don't care. I'm gonna buy it anyways. I'm really excited. I know it's like a rom-com thing. I'm excited. The cover is adorable. I can't wait for this. Jodi Ellen Moth has also announced a new book. Um, there's no cover yet, but uh, it is called Gentleman Sinner, and it comes out February 12th, 2019. I'm wondering if this is gonna be self-published or published with a publishing company. Um, because her last two books, like the Smoke and Mirrors duet, uh, was self-published. So I'm guessing this might be self-published as well. But I'm really, really excited for it. It's going to be like an adult romance. I'm very excited. Then we have the cover reveal for My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. This comes out, I believe, later this year, unless they change the release date. I'm not sure. And this I'm really excited. It takes, I don't actually know what this book is about either, but it does take on like online dating slash like dating now, like in the modern day. So I'm excited. I know they're gonna crush it because I love their books lately. They've just been amazing. The fifth Shatter Me book was announced, the title. Uh, it is called Defy Me, and I believe it's coming out April 2nd, 2019. So that's really exciting. I'm excited to see the cover. Am I gonna read it? Probably. I am really excited to see what the cover looks like because the covers in the series are beautiful. Aurora Rose Reynolds announced that she has a new book in the Fluke, Fluke My Life series, which I initially thought it was gonna be a trilogy, but it's actually gonna be four books. Um, so the cover was released, it's called Drawn Into Love, and it'll be released early next year. So I'm really, really excited. I love this series, it's really great. And I think that is it for book news. Now moving on to TV news. We got a release date for the TV show of A Discovery of Witches. This was revealed at Comic-Con. It will premiere Friday the 14th of September on Sky One. It'll be one season, eight episodes. I don't know how long the episodes are, but I'm imagining obviously an hour. However, for people outside of the UK, you will be able to watch it on Sundance Now and Shutter USA, and it should be coming out early 2019. Um, Sundance Now and Shutter USA, I think, are tied with AMC Network. Um, but they are a like online subscription. They're kind of like Netflix. I am bummed out because I don't have Sundance now. I don't have Shutter USA. Like I don't have other subscription services. So this is kind of a bummer to me because now I have to sign up. I'm really bummed that they couldn't get it with another network that would like air the TV show. Um, like why don't they just air it on AMC? I don't understand. The sucky thing is, is that it premieres in September in the UK, but like Canada and US, we don't get it till like early 2019. <laughs> so I think I might try to find it somewhere else to watch it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll be on iTunes and I can watch it on iTunes or something, but that's kind of frustrating. Next, we got a TV poster for the TV show You. Uh, we also got a season two order very interesting. So they had a cast and creator Q&A and basically it was revealed that they already got picked up for a second season, I think like six weeks before the actual season, first season premiered, um, which seems very promising. I wonder if they're going to do the first season of the first book and then the second season of the second book or they're just going to mix everything. 
I don't know. Do they even have rights to the second book? I don't know. I'm sure we'll get more later. Um, I didn't really like dig into the Q&A or anything because I'm not like super excited. I'm just curious about the TV show because I know it's going to be on Netflix. Yeah, but that's really interesting that I got a season two. Um, but then again, season two could be taken away if the ratings are really bad. So we'll see. But I do love the poster. I think the poster is really pretty. Shonda Rhimes is bringing a historical romance to Netflix, which is really exciting. So Julia Quinn's uh, The Bridgertons series is becoming a TV show on Netflix, which is very exciting with Shonda Rhimes as the creator. That is very interesting to me, but I'm super excited. I I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on Julia's book um, or books in that series. If any of you have read them, let me know how you feel about them. I have no idea what it's even about. Like, I know it's just a historical romance, so I'm really excited. Um, we definitely need more rom-coms, historical romances, like TV shows and movies. I feel like it's all happening. Like, I have more news to announce after, but it's all happening and I'm loving it because I just feel like, you know, I love... I love romance books, but like I also love it in TV shows and movies and I'm just, I'm excited. It's all coming to life. It's so great. Um, let me know how you feel about the books and uh, I'm definitely going to pick them up. So I'm really excited, but um, I'm sure that'll happen in 2019. So that is exciting. Taylor Jenkins Reid announced her new book as well as the new cover, which I love. It's called Daisy Jones and the Six. And it was also announced that Reese Witherspoon is going to produce a limited series for Amazon for this book. The book is not even out yet. The book comes out March 5th and it's already got a deal, which is very exciting. And I am super excited for this book. I feel like I'm going to love this book. I mean, I love Evelyn Hugo. I mean, it's right there. I absolutely love that book so much. And I have a feeling that this next book is going to be one of my favorites. This is what Taylor Jenkins Reid has like blurbed the book. I cannot tell you how thrilling it has been to finally reveal to you all what I have been working on since Evelyn Hugo. Daisy Jones and the Six is my love letter to 1970s rock, rock bands like Fleetwood Mac, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and Bruce Springsteen, that right there, like I love, I love old rock and roll music and I am just so excited. I love this cover first of all. I feel like I'm gonna love this book and I'm super excited and I can't believe it's gonna be on a limited series on Amazon. That's really exciting. Oh my gosh, like March can't come quicker. It's my birthday month and then this book comes out. I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. I don't think there's much details revealed about it yet, but um, I don't even know really what the book is about. I just know that it's about rock and roll music, so I'm really excited. The last TV show related news is that Buffy is getting a reboot. I watched Buffy, I think like in grade 11 or something, um, so maybe like five, six years ago, and I fell so deeply in love with Buffy. I don't know much about the details, but I think at first it was revealed that like Buffy, they would like redo Buffy, basically. But now it's revealed that it's going to be more of like a spin-off, I think. Like I don't think the main character will be named Buffy or anything. I think it's just going to be, well I hope. See, like I am all for a diverse Buffy the Vampire Slayer like spin-off. I don't want a new Buffy. That's my issue, is like, I don't want a new Buffy, I don't want a new Spike, I don't want a new Angel. Like, I'm okay with you rebooting the Buffy universe and like, having a spin-off. Like, totally okay with that. Like, I'll watch that 110%. But I'm not, I'm not gonna watch something where they redo Buffy. Like, I can't, I'm sorry. That is too sacred to me. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Why? Like. To me, no one else can play Buffy except for Sarah Michelle Gellar, okay? No one can play Buffy but her, okay? Okay. So I'm all for the like spin-off, like in the same world, you know, totally down with that. But if they plan to do a Buffy reboot herself, I don't think I'm gonna watch. I'm sorry. We'll see where if more details get revealed. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about the Buffy reboot. Now on to all of the movie news. First movie news is that Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick 
is finally becoming a movie. I know so many people have waited for this day for this to actually happen because now there's a director attached, which is very exciting. So Kelly Cyrus will be the director. I don't think they have any casting news yet. Um, if they do, leave it down below. I haven't really looked into it that much, but they have a director now. It's one step closer to actually becoming a movie, which I'm sure is very exciting for a lot of people because, I mean, this book came out back in 2009 and it's like just getting around to it. We'll see, I mean, this could be the big break into Angel movies. Because Fallen happened, but it wasn't broadcast everywhere. People don't even know it was a, a thing, a movie. This could be the next big franchise, maybe? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, it's finally becoming a movie. Legend by Marie Lu finds a new film home so it was previously with CBS Films, but now it is going to be with BCDF Pictures. So they have required the rights for the film and TV, so it could either become a TV show or a movie. Joseph Muzinski uh, will write a script based on the first novel. So yeah, that is really, really exciting. Nothing more has been revealed. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on if other things happen, but that is exciting for fans of the book that it's one step closer to seeing it on the screen. Uh, I'm really excited. I think this would make a great TV show or movie. As much as I hate books becoming TV shows and movies, I also kind of love it, but I also really hate it. So I don't know. I'm like wishy-washy on all of these things because it's exciting, but it's also like, uh, don't screw it up. <laughs> I feel like I announced this in my last one, but I can't remember. Uh, Gabriel's Inferno by Sylvain Renard is becoming a passion flicks series movie. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Um, if you do know, let me let me know down below. Yeah, it has been acquired to become a film on passion flicks, which is exciting. That definitely means that I need to buy a sub subscription for it because I love this book so much. I love this series so much and um, I can't believe it's becoming a thing on passion flicks. That's really exciting. So there you go. The Hating Game by Sally Thorne is becoming a movie. Um, the Simpsons producer David Merkin uh, will be directing The Hating Game. I'm terrified that this is becoming a movie. I'm so scared. I There's no actors that I can actually imagine as these characters and that is so hard for me. I freaking hope they find the perfect casting because I'm just, I'm already so wary of it. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Christina Mengert is adapting the book or she already adapted it, I guess. I'm really excited. Also very nervous. I don't know what to expect. It's very terrifying for me to have one of my favorite books become a movie. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. This is like the one news I'm not that excited about because it's like, please do not ruin my favorite book. Please do not. Please. Like, I'm, I'm terrified. The Kiss Quotient. Quotient. I still don't know how to say this because I'm stupid. Uh, is becoming a movie. Uh, the Pilgrim Media Group has acquired film, TV, and other media rights for uh, The Kiss Quotient, which um, is very exciting. I have not read the book yet, but I'm sure I'm going to love it, so also very hesitant about this, but we'll see. Um, it sounds very exciting. Apparently there was a big a competitive thing, it literally said, in a competitive situation, which means apparently a lot of people are fighting for this. I'm excited. I don't really have much thoughts about it because I haven't read the book yet, so we'll see. All the Right Places by Jennifer Niven has... Uh, a director and another main actor attached. So Justice Smith will play Finch and Al Fanning will play Violet and Brett Haley will be directing. I also don't have much opinions on this. Um, I think the casting is great. To me he seems perfect. Apparently he sings, um, plays the guitar and um, which is great because I think, doesn't Finch play guitar or something? Something like that. So to me, it's like as long as they can act really good, that they in, like embody the character and like I feel the chemistry, that's literally all that matters. Yeah, I know people have a very opinionated feeling on this book. I love this book 
so I'm excited for the movie. I'm not gonna talk too much about the after movie because I make complete updates for it like a separate video so I'll link uh, them down below um, but we got more casting we got a lot more news I'll link all of the videos down below after this on topic video comes out I will have another after update so I'll have to put the link in here as well but we did get a release date for the movie so I'll share that now uh, the movie will be coming out April 12th 2019 very very exciting I am super excited for that I think that's a great date April springtime I'm excited I'll talk more about other updates and stuff in um, my next after movie update so you can check that out if you're curious about more news on this and the last quick news that I have to share with you guys is that roomies the movie the script is all ready to go I believe Christina Lauren themselves are actually writing the movie script which is very interesting it's very rare for authors to actually write their own script and have it be accepted by like a movie production or TV production so that's very very interesting they posted this picture on their Instagram so uh, written by Christina Lauren based on the novel Roomies by Christina Lauren which is very exciting so I'm excited that they are writing their own script for this because I feel like it's gonna be as close as it can be while adapting it um, and I know that Christina and Lauren themselves are going to put in the necessary scenes that they feel is very important to the novel, like very important to the story. I'm very excited. I think it's very, it's sounding very, very hopeful for me. I'm like very excited about this. So yeah. So I think that was all of the news that I had to share for this month. I feel like there's so many adaptation news happening lately. Stuff like that's super exciting but also very nerve-wracking. Let me know your thoughts on books becoming movies and TV shows and book announcements. Let me know what you guys are excited for if I didn't mention anything or if I did forget to mention something can let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!